what I have here is just a simple rock. This is aluminum foil, jumper wires connected to my multimeter, reading about negative point one nine three or about one about point nine one zero volts, and it fluctuates back and forth, but stays pretty constant in this general area. And all this electricity is coming out of this rock. The black cable itself is touching the rock, while the yellow cable is touching the aluminum foil. I find it pretty weird that a rock can produce electricity. And even without the aluminum foil, it would still produce constant voltage. It was strong enough to recharge a capacitor. That's what these extra wires were here for, but I disconnect the capacitor to show you the voltage that the rock itself is reading. It's quite a weird phenomenon that's happening here. Just a plain old rock out of a, my own driveway and just store ball aluminum foil. But I do treat the rock though. This is not straight from the gravel, wrap some aluminum foil around it. Was I, what I find that works great is this thing acts like a water battery. I use uh, salt water to treat the rock and it pumps out more electricity that way. But what's weird is if even if you don't have aluminum foil, it would still produce electricity if you took your negative and positive connectors and connect them directly to the rock itself. So. I never heard of a, a water barrel using the same connectors. You usually have to have dissimilar metals to make a water battery function. But this one's just using a rock. It's plain old rock, but I do test the rocks before I put them through the test. Because each rock, I go outside, into my driveway, pick a rock up, take the voltmeter to it, and I test to see if it does give off a small voltage. And if it does give off a small voltage, it's going to give off a greater voltage over time. And many people know that uh, T.H. Moray had a special rock that amplified electricity. And this is what I'm trying to replicate, but I'm only in the small fraction of voltage. Barely any, even any amps. But it is a weird phenomenon, and it does recharge a capacitor. One neat thing I find about the rock battery, as I'm calling it, is that you can dead short it like it is now, and it'll bounce right back like a um, electret. It just bounces back, no matter how many times you do it. So if I could hook up like a 555 timer to it and a capacitor, I could get some serious power out of this thing. And the connections are not getting hot even though they're shorted out. I got my fingers on the connection and it's not even hot. If you do this with a normal battery, the connections would get hot and you would remove your fingers because it's hot. That's pretty neat.